ASNIP Foundation includes the analysis and design of pile foundations. But how do you actually design a pile that is embedded in uh, multiple layers of soil? Soil with different properties as shown in this case. And once you complete the analysis and find the maximum shear and moment, how do you design that pile to comply with the code provisions? This is Javier Encinas. And today we're going to analyze and design completely from scratch a concrete pile to comply with the ACI 318-19 provisions. Let's get started. As an example, consider this drill pier, which is 16 inches diameter and 100 feet long. It's embedded in four layers of soil. The soil properties are shown in each layer. And this image represents the horizontal modulus of subgrade reaction. The load supply at the top of the concrete pile are PU, actual load 700 kips, shear 60 kips, and moment 600 kip feet. All these loads are factored. The project corresponds to a seismic design category D, and the project is located in a site class D. The material properties are concrete F'C, 4 KSI, and steel FY, 60 KSI. With this information, let's use ASDIP Foundation to analyze and design this drill pier. Let's get started. When you open ASDIP Foundation, you see the project manager. Here we can see the modules included in the package, spread footings, strap footings, combined footings, wall footings, pile caps, and pile analysis and design. I have already created an example for this module, so let's click on the node. And this is the template of the pile analysis and design module in ASDIP Foundation. Here at the left, you enter the input information in the geometry, you enter the dimensions of the pile and all the rebars, then in materials, the material properties, and then in the loads, the loads acting at the top of the pile. Let's start in the geometry tab. The pile diameter is 60 inches. The pile length is 100 feet. Head condition is free at the top. For now, we are specifying 10 bars number 11. All this can change later on when we optimize the design. Cage length is 50 feet. The transverse reinforcement is number five, spiral. Spacing four at the top and 12 at the bottom. If we click on the graph tab, construction tab, here we can see a sketch of the pile we are designing. We go to materials tab. Here we specify the material properties for the piles, F'C4, FY60, both for the longitudinal rebars and for the transverse rebars. Concrete density 100 PCF. Then in the soil tab, since the soil properties the program considers up to four layers of soil. In each layer, you define the thickness, then the soil type, either sand or clay, and then the subgrade modulus at the top and bottom of the layer. All this information has been provided in the statement of the problem, so we have just entered information here. This is the resulting profile of the modulus of subgrade reaction. If we go to the loads tab, here I already enter the loads given in the statement of the problem. I'm using the first option, a pre-combined loads here, because we were given a set of factor loads in the statement. So I just enter the numbers here, actual load 700, moment 600, and then the shear 60 kips. With this information, the program performs the analysis. We go here to the lateral analysis tab. In this table, we can see the shear, moment, and deflection at every two feet of pile length. So in this case, the maximum moment occurs here is 934 kip feet. The maximum shear is 60 kips. And the maximum deflection for this combination is, is this one here. Graphically, we go to the graph tab, the diagrams tab. This is the shear diagram and the moment diagram. Here we can see the maximum shear, and here the maximum moment. If we click on this button, we will see the seismic provisions for this project. Here we specify the seismic design category, in this case is category D, and the site class is site class D as well. 
This is important because this defines multiple provisions in the ACI code. So we accept this information here. If we go to the at a glance tab, this is a summary of the results. Here we can see the analysis. In this section, we can see the maximum shear and maximum moment for the lateral analysis. Then here in the pile strength section, basically the program compares the applied factor loads to the pile capacity. Everything is passing with the maximum ratio is 0.32. Here in the reinforcement section, we can see that everything is passing for all the code provisions that were checked. We'll go in a minute over all these uh, provisions. We go to the condensed tab. So here we can see a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic, the lateral analysis, then the pilot strength, and then the reinforcement design with more information. Finally, we click on the detail tab. We can see a more detailed set of calculations step by step with exposed formulas and with references to the ACI code. Here are some calculations of the pile properties. Then here in the lateral analysis, we can see the maximum shear and moment and the maximum deflection for uh, the service load is 0.31 inches. This is less than 0.5 inches, which is the maximum allowable for the pile. So it's passing. In the reinforcement design, here the program calculates the cracking moment, which will be used to calculate the minimum cage length. In the longitudinal steel section, we are applying 10 rebars, number 11. Here the program checks the minimum steel area and the maximum steel area. This reinforcement is passing both. Then the program calculates the minimum cage length as 0.4 uh, cracking moment calculated previously. This check is also passing. Here in the transverse steel, we are specifying spiral number five at four inches at the top. The program checks the minimum reinforcement. This check is passing here. The program also checks the maximum spacing and this check is also passing here. The program checks this at the top and at the bottom of the pile. At the bottom, we are specifying spiral number five at 12 and this check is also passing here. Finally, the program generates the interaction diagram for the pile. This shows a detailed calculation of one of the points of the interaction diagram. Graphically, we go to the graph tab, interaction diagram. This image represents the interaction diagram, axial load versus bending moment for this pile. The load is represented by this point, so it's inside the usable areas, so the capacity is more than enough for this load. Finally, in the construction tab, we see the pile with all the construction details as shown in the construction drawings. In this case, we are specifying 10 rebars, number 11, longitudinal. The cage length is 50 feet. The transverse reinforcement is number five spiral at four at the top, for the top 15 feet. And then number five spiral at 12 inches for the bottom 35 feet. As you can see, it's very easy to analyze and design concrete piles using as the foundation. We were able to complete the analysis and design of this drill pier in just a few minutes that otherwise could take much longer if we tried to do it by hand. If you like the software, please visit the website www.asdipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.